or we can create an app that can help the blind people. And I'm going to create that app in MIT App Inventor. So click on new project and my project name is Helping Hand. Now, here you can see that's the screen. I'm going to change that screen one name to the Helping Hand app. Helping Hand. Now, what we need to do here, I'm going to drag and drop one BAM viewer here, like this, and just make it width and height is fill parent, like this. Now, I'm going to add one button here. So, first button is this for, for a scanning. Okay, scanning the thing. So, just change that name to a scan. Okay. And uh, I'm going to make this width is at least uh, 90%, like this. Okay, and make this font is 30, like this, or 20, make it. Okay, and then what I'm going to do, is I'm going to click on the screen and make this all thing in a center like this. Okay, and change that uh, button background color to the something like pink or something. Make it font bold like this. Just copy paste that button and make that button for the camera. Okay, uh, that can move your camera like, uh, you know, uh, that can, this is the towel button is like that can move your camera front and rear. Front and rear. So here's our app. Now what I'm going to do here, I'm going to use here one extension and I'm going to open that website called MIT App Inventor extension. You will see here website mit.cml.github.io and here you can see look extension. This, this extension can detect the items. Okay. So I'm going to just download this extension. Go to the MIT App Inventor. In the left side, you'll find the extension option. Click on import extension. Choose files. You can see this extension is imported. Just drag and drop this extension like this. Done. Now in the right side, we'll see, click on extension, I'll see the web view. Just select that web view one we have added. And input mode, that should be video. Like this. Okay. Now let's go to the block section here. And what I'm going to do here, I'm going to use here, go to design, make sure we need to add some more thing is like, open the media option and you can see here, text to speech, just drag and drop this. You will see a speech recognizer, just drag and drop this thing also. Using these thing, what I'm going to do here, I'm going to just get the input or, you know, we need to, we need to use your text to speech so blind pe uh, people can uh, listen these things. Okay, what's the things? So I'm going to add one more thing here. Click on user interface and drag and drop one label. We'll display the things here. I'm going to just hide it because we don't need it because we don't need to display this. So I'm going to make it visible, visible, false like this. Okay, this is level one. Now let's go to the block. Now, what will happen whenever someone open this app, okay, and whenever they click on the, you know, this is scan button, okay, button one. So, click on button one, like this. So, we need to scan the things. But before scanning, we need to check this uh, uh, is, uh, you know, this is, uh, this or app or this or extension is uh, in the classified ready or not, classified re ready or not. So, I'm going to just call it here. If this classified ready, okay, so... What I'm going to do here, I'm going to just make that button, button should be enabled. I'm going to make set button should be a visible on. You can make it, yes, this one. You can make it visible true, like this. So in the initial stage, what will happen? This button will be disabled. So you can make that scan button, click on button one, and you can make that visible off. But once that ready, so because blind people can't see the status, right? That's why we are using your enable disable thing. So if classify is ready, then we'll make that button one is visible true. Once the people click on the button one, so that can start scanning. Okay, so cl click on look and see the classify video data. This one. Now, what I need to do here, I'm going to just try and drop it here. Now, once this classify the data, but oh, so once this classify the data, what I need to do here, I need to get the data. So how can I get that? So click on that look extension. You can see here, classify got classification. But I need only one thing. This got classification, what that will do? This will give me the list, whole list of all components, like five to six uh, components. So I need a perfect, uh, you know, thing. So I need a, I, I'm going to get the first thing from that list. So how can I get that? Okay. So for that, I need to use your label. And I'm going to set that, that label like this. But uh, the thing is, I need to, you know, get the thing in a list. So for that, I'm going to create the variable like this. And you can see the list. Or you can see the things. Okay, like this. I'm going to just create the empty list here for now. And I'm going to just, once the got classification, 
So I'm going to just set all the things. And the other side is like this. Here. Okay. So see, now we have a list. First of all, I need to pick the one item from that list. Okay. So for that, click on list. And you can see here the select item list list. This one. Okay. So just drag and drop this here. And from which list I need to select the item? From that thing list because I just created this. Set this. Now I need to index which value I need to get a first value. So I'm going to just add it this way. But once I do this, you know, like this. So what I will get, I will get like this thing. Okay. So I'm going to just show you here. Okay. Let me just make it zoom. So I'm going to explain you how this will work. So once the list I get, so I will get the value like this. So like, uh, you know, just double rotation and cheer. And then you can see the comma like this. So we'll get like this. Okay. So how can I, uh, you know, use that? input how can I get the only chair input from that this string okay so for that I need to do simple thing is that I'm gonna add one more uh, here click on list this and we need to split the string okay we need to split that string from some text so we can see the split option like this is split I'm gonna call it here and split that text and we are I'm gonna add that text from like just copy here and I'm gonna this comma I'm going to split to by comma. So what I will get here, I need to get the first item because once I split it, so this will look like this comma and then again the is like this. So I need to get the first value like this. So what I will what I will get, I'm going to just call it list and uh, you know, just index this one. I'm going to call it here again, but I'm going to just index value is again the one. Okay. Like this. Now what I have right now now I have the only this thing now I need to remove that uh, you know bracket and that uh, that quotation so for that I need to just call again the text and see the replace option see where is the replace text replace all text like this you can call replace all text also okay that can be uh, easy so it's really amazing like this call it like here okay let me just make it uh, a little bit like this Okay, call it and from which I need to replace the text and which segment I need to replace. The segment is like, uh, you know, that uh, double quotation like this. I need to replace this by nothing like this. Okay, and again, I just need to, you know, copy that again. Just use the replace text again for that one more time. And I'm going to this time, I'm going to just replace the, you know, that comma like this value. So that sorry bracket that bracket with null like this so here so at, at the end what I will get here I will get the only the string if there is there is maybe there is uh, there is more uh, you know way to achieve this value so if you know the way so you just comment okay so we, we we can use that also so this is done now we have the text okay here now what I need to do here I need to use here the text to speech so text to speech like this and call it here okay after about classification text to speech and I can just say here in the math so you'll see here like uh, carrying done and uh, it's look like and what I'm gonna do I'm gonna just add the join option like this here okay and what I will do I'm going to just set label one dot text because we have received the value here. And suppose this it can be cheer, book or anything like this. Now, this is done. Now, what I need to do here, I'm going to do one more thing here. Suppose if the blind person is, you know, using his phone and if they have the proximity sensor, so he can detect the things also. If there is any anything, so that phone can detect and say there is something. So what I need to do here, if some or phone detect the something, okay. And what I need to do, I need to do one thing is uh, I can say here, there is something. So for that, I need to use the one sensor, go to the design. In the left side, we'll find the, you know, sensors option. Yes. Here's the proximity sensor, like this and this, this one. Okay. Like this. So just block this proximity sensor. So when the proximity sensors change, okay, this. So I need to just use the condition, okay, like this, 
or you can just uh, say you know uh, if there is anything or if, if there is something so you can just say uh, call it like this you can just call it here so i'm gonna just do just scroll down and just call it here and suppose say here there there is something do you want me to scan this okay like this then i will get the you know what i'm going to after calling this i'm going to call a speech recognizer call get text after this and once i receive the speech recognizer okay text so after getting text so i'm going to call it one thing here we use the if else condition if that text value okay if that text is like i'm going to use the logic here this and if the result if the gap result is equal to yes please or something yes please then i'm going to scan this okay so what i need to do here so i need to call look classify video data like this and when this is scan after completing the scanning okay this is the code classification and that will say scanning done it's look like something whatever the chair or anything like this okay so this is the overall app now i need to do one more thing here let me just arrange this code so you can see the proper thing like this classify id button one to classify data like this i'm gonna use the proximity sensor here i'm using here the speech recognizer and i'm gonna use here this one code to get the get the proper text but i need one more thing is simple is once the people click on button two then i need to call your toggle is like look and see the toggle camera facing mode like this call it here like this okay so yeah that's all about it so that is the amazing app so let me show the example here first what that so he, he just need to click on the scan this scan and done. done it, it looks like, like rocking chair. chair okay and that i will tell him like it's a chair oh that's fantastic so in this thing what i have done i have added one more i have added the proximity sensor also what the what that will do you know uh, whenever i move my phone to the thing and uh, this sensor detects something then that app will tell you that there is something if do you want to scan this and we will say yes please then that will scan and that will tell you what the thing is that so uh, we are using a proximity in our phone so that's why its range is around only 5 cm or 7 cm okay so, but if we will use any other device so we can increase that uh, uh, length of that uh, sensor okay so that can recognize the uh, like from the 1 meter 1 feet or 2 feet so uh, let me show you how this will work on our phone there is some object do you want me to scan this yes please there is some scanning done. It's look like folding chair. So if you have any doubt, you can ask me on comment. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to our channel, like this video and share this video. Have a nice day. Be safe. Bye-bye.